with hack times you can warp to levels, set in-game save states, and use timers and timer checkpoints, which makes this tool very, very useful for practicing both Kaiso completions and speedruns. So, how do you get this to work? First, you get the ROM you want to practice on. I picked a random hack to show you. Then, you download Hacktice EXE, link in the description, and unzip it whatever you like. Then, you take your ROM hack and drag it on top of Hacktice. This will open a window briefly and then produce a second file of your hack with Hacktice patched in. Easy. If you get this prompt when trying to patch your hack, then don't worry, it's just Windows being paranoid. Just click on more info and then run anyway. Do not open hack ties to then drag your ROM into the window that it opens. This won't work. Now that we have this new copy of the hack, we only need to execute it and play. Press pause to access the practice options then L or R to navigate between warp to level, general or timer checkpoint menus. On those menus you can move left or right using the d-pad and change your options by pressing C up or C down. On the general tab, digital red and secret will show you the closest red point or secret with a number displayed on the bottom left. Bottoms and stick will show your inputs on the bottom right. L action, LR action, all for C bottoms action and deeper down action will let you set them to level reset, star reset, act select, levitate and loading a save state. Quick note, but unlike level reset, star reset will always reset from the level entrance as opposed to restarting from an area warp, like for example the inside of this cave in Safari Course 1. For save states, if you set them to pause, you will save state by just pausing and then load with your desired bottom. If you set them to bottom, you need to pause and press the save state load bottom on the pause menu to set the state. So for example, I picked deep and down to load a state, so to set the save state I need to pause and press the d-pad down during the pause. Personally, I prefer this method as it gives me a little more control on what I'm doing as you may need to pause for more than just setting a save state at any given time during practice. Death action will trigger whatever action you set it to immediately upon death. On the warp to level tab, you can select what level to warp to using C up or C down to scroll and pressing A to warp. And then the timer checkpoints tab is pretty much exclusive to speedrun practice, as all this many of those is displaying the time of whatever action you enable on it. Finally, I would like to share a little tip with you all. Since Hacktice doesn't save your settings, I recommend setting up your preferences and then using a save state so you can reload this anytime you want to practice. I still don't recommend using the Hacktice ROM for actual ROMs in case you are like speedrunning. I guess for Kaiso it's fine, I do it myself, but yeah, you should keep both. And that's it! Enjoy using Hacktice to practice your future star range 5.5 40 star speedruns.